Hey guys, Brian here from Great Lakes Backpacker, and I'm going to do another just real quick video here. This is all the stuff I have for my upcoming trip to the Beartooth Mountains in Montana. And uh, I'll just do one of these real quick uh, what's in my pack videos. Um, never done one of these before, but we'll give it a shot here for the first time. So anyways, I'm going to start over here. And what I've got here is a 20 degree hammock gear under quilt for my hammock. It's one of their new Econ models and I'm really anxious to try it out in the field. And right here I've got an ENO uh, double nest hammock. Right next to it here I've got all the suspension lines and the lines uh, to stake down my tarp. Next to it here I have my tarp which is a war bonnet superfly and I've got it in some snake skins that I bought uh, from Mountain Goat Hardware and a uh, really nice set of uh, snake skin so it's nice to kind of keep my tarp all up there together and it makes for real quick uh, deployment and then putting it away after and then because I don't have an under or a top quilt yet I just have a uh, fleece uh, sleeping bag if you want to call it that um, I've got another sleeping bag but it's way too big and bulky it'll be way too hot for this trip so this is going to be uh, kind of like my makeshift makeshift top quilt uh, for this trip so that's it for all the sleep system stuff now over here what we've got is two smart water bottles that I'm going to use I used to have Nalgene bottles but these things are a lot lighter and uh, they hold just as much if not a little bit more water so I'm going to take those I took those on my Pemi hike last year and they worked out well so I'm going to use them again this year here I have a Sea to Summit uh, dry bag and I've got all my food in here for the three days and I've actually got an extra days worth of food just in case something happened and we got stranded somewhere out for an extra day, ran across someone who didn't have food or whatever so all that is in there and this uh, silver thing here is just a cozy for a couple of my meals I'll I've got them in freezer bags, so when I put the boiling water in there, I'll just put them inside that cozy and let them uh, rehydrate. And over here, I've got a 750 milliliter Tox uh, titanium cook pot, and I've also got, as you can tell, I've got a cozy around here that I'm going to be using. And over here, I have my alcohol stove. It's made from a fancy feast cat stove or a cat can and a tomato paste uh, can and I've got a lighter to go with it over here I've got a whole bottle worth of heat alcohol that I'm going to be using for the stove and along with the rest of the cookware stuff I've got a long handled spoon which I'm going to be taking along I got a bandana here which I actually use uh, to wipe things down and I also put uh, my stove and other things inside of there so it doesn't clang around inside my cook pot while I'm hiking and drive me crazy. Uh, right here, just got a thing of toilet paper. Right here is a first aid kit. I got some um, Benadryl, I got a uh, ace bandage, I got some gauze, and I got some uh, Luco tape, which is kind of a neat little thing I've been using uh, kind of help prevent blisters. And then I got some uh, other medication in there for um, you know, anti-diarrhea, that kind of stuff. Never had a problem with that, but if you end up with something like that while you're out in the middle of nowhere, it can actually cause you some problems. So I got some pills in there. So it's nice and small. I got everything I need in there. Next thing we have over here is I've got my bag with my Sawyer Squeeze water filter and all the accessories I'm going to need for it. And down here, I have a pack cover, and I contemplated not even taking it and just lining my backpack with a garbage bag like a lot of people do. However, I guess for now, I'm a little more comfortable just using this, especially since I'm going to have a nice expensive camera that in case I get stuck in a downpour, um, I'd rather have my whole pack covered. So anyways, not that big, not real heavy, but I'm going to take a pack cover. Here is um, 40 feet of zingit, which I'm going to use for hanging our food at night from a tree. Just keep it away from the bears and other creatures that might want to grab our food. And here I have a fire steel and a striker. 
and that's just kind of back up to the lighter that I had with my cook pot. And then here I've got my National Geographic map that I'm going to be using for the Beartooth uh, Mountains. And I've got a compass here in case we need it. And the path is really well marked, so we're not going to, probably not going to have to resort to this, but I'll have it just in case. And then moving over here, I've got a whistle uh, just in case. It's just something to signal if I need it. My backpack actually has a whistle built in, uh, but this thing is like ear splitting, so just for the heck of it, I'm going to take it with me. Never need it, but in case I do, I'll have it. And uh, like I said, it doesn't weigh anything and it doesn't take up much room. Here I have my black diamond uh, headlamp with the white and the uh, red lights on it. It's got the strobe on it, and um, you can dim it and brighten it. I really like it. This thing's been really handy on a lot of my trips. And then the next thing I got here, I've got a bag with a battery pack and extra batteries for my Canon camera as well as my GoPro and a little tripod and some other accessories for the GoPro. And then up here I've got some toiletries to go along with the toilet paper. I've got uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, soap, and uh, a little thing of chapstick. Um, let me see. Moving on, we'll go over here to the clothing. And this is all stuff that's going to go into my pack. So um, up here I have a set of convertible pants. So these are real nice for taking along. They dry real quick. If you don't want long pants on, you can unzip the legs and take them off. So now you've all of a sudden got a pair of shorts. So I'm going to pack this. I've got over here, in case it gets cool at night or maybe early in the morning, i got a fleece hat. Next to it here, I've got a nice wicking t-shirt. This one just happens to be Under Armour, but I've got some that aren't brand name. Um, I just happen to be taking this one. And then I've got a pair of Ex Officio underwear. These things are real nice, especially for backpacking. They dry real quick. You can wash them out, hang them out, and they're dry in no time. Got an extra pair of socks here. And over here, I have a fleece top from Eddie Bauer. It's from their first ascent line. I love these things. I've got a couple of them and they're warm, they're lightweight. So I'm going to take this and then over here I've also got a fairly lightweight um, wool blend long sleeve shirt that I'm going to take. Um, low temperatures are supposed to be right around low 40s at night so um, with all this stuff and a t-shirt I should be good to go. And then down here uh, up in the mountains there, apparently they do have rain 10 to 15 minutes almost every day, so I've got a Frog Togs um, rain jacket. I'm not going to take the rain pants, I'm just going to wear the jacket. And then over here, a head net. This thing weighs like nothing, but when the mosquitoes are swarming around you and they're driving you crazy, this thing is invaluable. Um, when we were on our first backpacking trip at Isle Royale many, many years ago, there were some people who didn't have one and we were getting swarmed by mosquitoes. They were willing to pay us 20 bucks if we gave up our head net. And obviously, I've still got it. I kept it. So, And then another, I guess, kind of a luxury item for most people. It's just a small pack towel. Um, there's supposed to be quite a few river crossings, so um, I may use this to just dry my legs and my feet off before I put my socks and my boots back on. Um, or just wash up and camp and dry off. And then my camera is sitting over here. I got a Canon uh, DSLR camera. I'm going to take that along with me. And it is sitting over here with the stuff that's going to go in my pack, even though I'm not going to be carrying it inside of my pack. Um, if things get really crazy and it rains a lot, obviously it's going to get stowed away. So I just happen to have it sitting here. So. With that being said, this is the overview of all the stuff that's going into my pack. And uh, brand new for this trip, um, I'm going to be taking the new backpack that I got, which is an Osprey Exos 58. And believe it or not, all the stuff that I've got sitting out here actually fits inside of here nicely. So this is going to be my pack. And all this stuff is going inside. And then I'll just go through real quick here the stuff that I'm going to be wearing that's not going to be inside of my pack.
So I'm going to show you that next here. All right, so this is all the stuff that I am going to be wearing on me or carrying with me, and it's not going to be inside of my pack. Um, I have a pair of convertible pants here, another wicking Under Armour t-shirt. I love this. This is really nice, lightweight. It dries quick. It's comfortable. Um, and then over here, another pair of uh, hiking socks, another pair of quick-drying underwear. I'm taking a baseball hat just to kind of keep the sun off of my head. I got a pair of hiking boots that I'm going to be wearing. And then I am going to carry a knife with me. And I've got my hiking poles. And then obviously, since we're going to be in grizzly country, I've got a container of uh, bear repellent. So, and yes, after it came in the mail, I did take it outside and test it. Gave it a quick burst just to make sure that it works, which it does. So, that's it. Real quick the overview of everything I got that I'm going to be carrying in my pack or wearing. And uh, that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, stay tuned for the video from the hike uh, some point after I get back. Thanks for watching.